Hi there, and welcome to this episode on the 44 life path number. Somebody may have it. It's a very high master number that vibrates extremely fast, although it may not appear to you that it's vibrating so fast. So in this episode, I am going to show you teach you about the 44 life path number using Robert Dole, Senator Robert Dole's name, because his life path number, his month, day, and year of birth actually vibrates to a 44. Now, the 44 life path number is the number eight to a very high level. And remember, I mentioned that eight is the number of authority, influence, government, very, very big, powerful number. So let me move quickly and let me share my screen with you so we can do a fast dive into that 44 master number that says, I serve mankind on a very grand scale and a broad level. And we certainly know that Bob Dole did do that as a Republican uh, senator. So what would be the meaning like of the 44 life path number, like the number eight, it leads and administers and exec executes by divine guidance. It's an even number, which means it's more extroverted. It gets along with people. Somewhere you will find in its astrological chart, earth signs, heavy earth signs. Number one is Saturn. That is the number of restriction and also karma. And we know that Bob Dole was born with a restriction and impediment, uh, which he certainly overcame with accomplishment. That's for sure. I believe he was, he was hurt in one of his arms. And you will find also possibly Capricorn. Now we know that Capricorn is ruled in astrology by the sign of Saturn. Now, the 44 right up there as a master number is showing you it's ruled by two fours. So it not only establishes a firm foundation behind whatever programs that the 44 or whatever life path it takes, because it is the number of its divinely spiritual path that it will get them to success in this life. It is clearly without a doubt, um, its heroic mission is to overcome something big or to accomplish something huge with a solid foundation underneath it for a very, very large number of people. And we know that Bob, Senator Bob Dole was not only a senator, but he also ran for vice president. Now he ran for vice president and lost, but I believe I'll, I'll go go through that on another show, that he lost the vice presidency when he did, because in numerology, we don't begin things when the tide is out. You hear that the tide can be in and the tide is out. That's part of the yin and the yang of life. And what he did was he ran for president in a nine year. We never begin things in a nine personal year. So with those two double fours, I mentioned to you that the four never stops working. It's always building. And the two fours are always doing multiple, multiple large projects at one time. So that's really how the four four in the master number reduces down to a number eight of authority and power and force 
and respect, integrity, truth on a lower level, which is the number eight. It serves on an executive and an administrative level on a very broad scale. It exercises tremendous mental and physical discipline. Why? Because the four doesn't stop working and neither does the eight. Now the 44 has to be very careful. The 44 can perform on some level to such an excessive nature that it breaks down the the healing aspects of its own body or it attacks its own health. So the 44 has to be very careful not to overdo anything. It really can analyze complex mental concepts, um, especially in finance, government that other people find difficult to maneuver. And it is also a master planner. It overcomes vast obstacles, more particularly on the material plane. And I think Senator Bob Dole was known for that. It has outstanding judgment. It possesses personally. Remember, the eight is the number of judgment. So a 44 eight must make sure that its judgment is for the betterment of everyone, that everyone. Um, advances because of their intuitive judgment and powers. And as I said before, the 44 would also, four plus eight, possess the eight life path numbers within it because it's the higher vibration of the eight, the eight life path number. So it's important for us to remember that anyone that possesses a 44 life path number has a heroic mission already within them that they're born to possess and move upon. And that is whether you believe in reincarnation or you don't. Your life path number is your heroic mission the heroic path that if you follow it, you will be successful no matter what you do. You have to follow that number. So let's look at some of its eccentricities, excessive habits of any nature whatsoever. Anything you follow that falls from working very hard at it to obsessing over something would be excessive to the number 44. And you've got to be careful to move away from that. Overcoming uh, drastic flaws in your personality that have gotten you into trouble. That's on any aspect of living, eating, drinking, drugs, motorcycle riding, anything that's going to get you into trouble that is done excessively any destructive behavior. Now, the eight has to always be careful of its temper. So you'd have to watch if you're a 44, um, having anger problems, overindulgence of any nature. You'll find the 44 life path number within large industrial, medical, and governmental institutions. We all know it reverts down to the eight when it gets too high. Now, all these master numbers, nobody can live on the master level forever. It's just too much for the human body. So the nerves of the 20 of the 11 could get you the nervous tension can get you into trouble. And when that happens, you should always live on the lower level of the number two until your body is calm enough to go back into that higher level of the tw of the 11. The same for the 22. There's 22s can have just a terrible breakdown of anger and, you know, 
can cause themselves nervous breakdowns. All of these master numbers have to be very, very careful of the whatever they're telling themselves on an inner level, because every action has as a predecent a thought form. Everything we do in life is the result of a thought form. So we have to be very, very careful. It's predicate. The predicate of an action is a thought form. So let's look at Robert Joseph Dole, born on the 22nd. There's a master number, the 22nd of July, 1923. So we know he's got a master number right off the bat in his birthday number. So probably with Robert Dole's birthday number between 28 and about 54, he lived extremely within that 22 master number. However, the last third of his life being a 15, six, these people are um, very, very bright. It's a six number, 15, one plus five equals six. We can see his influence continued all the way into the latter years of his life. And that was because the numbers that preceded the last third of his life, he lived in the 22. So when we add one plus nine, plus five plus two, which is the total we get when we add seven, 22, seven and 22 to 1923, we get the total 1952. When we add those numbers across, they come to 17, one plus seven equals an eight. Now we can also get there another way. We can take the seven, add it to the 22, and then add that number to the number 15. And we will also get the number 44 as a life path number, a master builder on the earth plane. We can call him an earth plane director. Let's look at Robert Dole's first name. You'll recall that I've mentioned that the numeric vibration of the letters in our alphabet if it is a, um, a consonant, it will go, will we'll compute those numbers below the name. If they're vowels, we will put the number vibration of any letter above the, above the number. So the O carries the 15th letter in the alphabet or a six vibration. The E is the fifth letter of the alphabet and carries the five vibration. So six plus five equals 11. The consonants of Robert, Robert's name carry again the 22 vibration. So we can see that to the outside world, the, the name Robert appears to the outside world because of those consonants to be masterful. Anybody that has the number Robert vibrates, the consonants vibrate. Other people see you as masterful. Internally, you are, your soul urge is really uh, very much someone that is extremely persuasive, carrying the L, the 11 vibration, a dreamer, someone who can influence very heavily on the 11 level, the life path um, number level or the master level. Let's look at Joseph once again, very similarly. The vowels in the name Joseph are another 11. So even in Robert Dole's emotional level, because your middle name deals with your emotions. That also, the vowels of his name vibrate to the master number of the 11. 
the vowels vibrate again to a 17, eight, an earth number, one plus seven is an eight. So he's seen as somebody probably that could handle budgets and handle money and handle things on the material level very, very well. He had authority in that domain. But actually, he was a dreamer in both names. He was someone that had great perceptive powers, great um, ability to perceive before something was actually put on paper uh, what needed to be done. Look at this. Let's look at the name Dole, his family name, and what by vibrations Dole carried, like Robert, like Joseph, the vowels in the family name Joel also vibrated to the number 11. The consonants in Joel vibrated to the number seven. So even though he wasn't a seven, he appeared to everyone else to be that analyzer, that very, very smart, a individual who could dig very deeply and come at come to the answer. He would not be someone that you could fool too easily because he was analytical in nature. But look at all those master numbers. Look at all those 11s in each one of the vowels of his name. Robert Dole was born masterful in both his name and in that 44 eight life path number and in the names vibrating to the 22 and the 17 again um, these are earthy numbers the 22 the 22 achieves on the earth plane level, not pie in the sky. It's not a dreamer. Its feet are squarely on the ground. And we see that with the 22 in his name and in the 17, eight in his name and in the seven, which makes him a smart person. So he is an individual that has a very strong pull analytically and towards making money. He could have had a problem with his temper because of those very strong 22s in his name and also in the number 44, which get it started and get it angry could blow. The 22s and the 44s have to watch their tempers for their own well-being and their own health. So that is a fast, deep dive into Robert Joseph Dole's numbers. Again, I always remind you, if someone says they've gotten a reading from me, they haven't. Because I'm a litigator. I'm an attorney. And I litigate in in trust and estates, in elder law and guardianships here in New York. And also I litigate uh, in mental hygiene. So I am not reading right now, but I have four wonderful books out there. And two are uh, volume one and two of Live Your Life by the Numbers, Your Guide to Numerology. And then we have Raise Your Kids by the Numbers, one of my favorite books. And a book on double digits, which is very easy for you to read and understand why we might have the same numbers prominently placed in certain areas, but with totally different people. Because it's what computes your life path number 
as a double digit number before we reduce it and in the consonants in your name and in your birthday number and in your soul urge. These double digit numbers are very, very powerful. It shows why I am unique in one way and you are unique in another way. So I thank you very much for watching. If you're interested, please like and subscribe this show and give me any suggestions that you might have. I am a work in progress like all of us. And please like and review my books, buy them, read them, tell me what you think of them. I'm always interested. I'm always interested in improving myself and serving you. My avocation being the love of numbers is my gift to you. So remember, today is more precious than you think. Please live your life by the numbers. Have a great one. I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.